Okay, so today we're going to be learning about Newton's method, which is in chapter 3, section 8 of your textbook. So we use Newton's method to approximate zeros. Um, it doesn't find the actual number, but you, we can usually get close enough to where it's the um, where it's almost the actual number. So there, there are steps in um, Newton's method. First, we're going to make a guess. Um, and this is the guess that is close to the zero. So if we have this function over here, um, say this is 1 and this is 2, we see that the zero is somewhere in like 1.5. So um, that will be our initial guess. Then we're going to find the derivative of this function. And after that, we're going to be able to fill out the table. So this is the table that we use for Newton's method. You have n, which is just your number of iterations. And iterations are just the number of times you use this formula to get closer and closer to the zero. Then we have xn, which is just your number. So the first one is always going to be your initial guess. This, the first iteration is always your initial guess. Then um, I've just plugged in random numbers. Um, then you're going to plug in xn to the function and that will give you some number. Then you're going to plug in x in to the derivative of that function. Then you're going to divide the two and get some other number. And then you're going to take x in and subtract the division of these two, or the division of these two. And um, that will get you your estimated answer. But it's usually still kind of far away from the real zero. So we take this down and bring it over here. And this will be your second iteration. So you're going to use this number in and um, go through the whole process again until you're within um, the accuracy that you want. So it'll either tell you um, perform two, three iterations or whatever, or it could say get within 0 .001. And what that means is if this was um, the, say this was our second iteration and this was our third iteration, we see that they're within 0 .001 of each other. Um, so that would, this would be our answer. Okay, so then you just continue on with the iterations until desired accuracy is reached. Um, there are a few times when Newton method, Newton's method fails. Um, these are when the derivative is zero for any xn, which means that there's a horizontal tangent. Um, Newton's method fails to converge, so um, the estimated answer just keeps growing bigger um, as we approach infinity, basically. It just continues to grow. Um, there are two roots or no roots. So obviously if there's no zeros, Newton's method can't work. And if the guesses start to oscillate back and forth, those are times when Newton's method will fail. So here is one example. So we have this graph, simple, of x squared minus 2. Um, this is a rough sketch. We see that this is 1 and this is 2. We see the dot is kind of close to 1, 1 1.5, somewhere around there. So my initial guess was 1. Um, then we're going to find the derivative, which um, after learning about derivatives, we know the derivative of x squared minus 2 is just 2x. And then we go through the whole process of plugging it in. Usually, um, your the functions aren't going to look as pretty, so it's just a bunch of calculator work. It's not hard. You just have to make sure you don't mess up. So when we plug in, to, when we plug in 1 to the original function, we see that we obviously get negative 1. When we plug in 1 to the derivative, we're obviously going to get 2. Um, and then when we divide the 2, we're going to get negative 0.5. So then we take x in and subtract negative 0.5, and that is going to get us 1.50. Then we're going to take this down and continue on with our second iteration. So 1.5, we're going to plug into the original function, and then to the derivative, we're going to divide the 2, and then we're going to um, subtract x in minus that. So we continue on and then we get to our third iteration where we go through the same steps and we see here that we are within point zero one of each other. So that was the answer we were looking for and um, this is the whole, whole answer on the calculator. So your answer would be 1.414216. Um, now besides asking for some ugly function um, where you don't really change the steps, you just have more work to do, more to put in the calculator, there's something else that Newton's method could ask you for. It could say, where do the two functions intersect? Um, so this is just the same thing as looking for the zeros. Um, so if we have the function y equals negative x to the third plus x squared plus 1, and y equals x to the fifth minus 2x to the third minus 4. 
we're going to take those functions and subtract them as I did here. So I got y equals um, x to the fifth minus 2x to the third minus 4 plus x to the third minus x squared minus 1. And then we simplify that down and get y equals x to the fifth minus x to the third minus x squared minus 5. And then take the derivative of that, and we're going to get 5x to the fourth minus 3x squared minus 2x. So they're not ugly equations, but um, it is, it's just a bunch of plugging into your calculator. So when we start with the table, um, and our initial guess is 1.5. So we start the table. Our first iteration, we're going to plug in 1.5 for x. Then we're going to go through um, with this function. You take the function... Um, that where you subtracted the two. This is your new function. And you're going to plug in x into that. And then you're going to plug in x in to f prime. Then you're going to divide the two and um, subtract that from x in. And we get this number. And then remember, we're going to carry this down over here. And then we're going to go through the steps again. And then we're going to carry this back down to here. And we're going to go down one more step. Um, and after completing three iterations, we ended up getting the answer that we were looking for, which is 1.6494. So that would be your answer, where the two intersect at x equals 1.6494. And that is how to do Newton's method. You just approximate zeros. You can find points of intersection. Um, it's not too difficult. You just need to make sure to plug everything in right on the calculator.